Welcome everybody back to the Techless Corner. My name's Sib Luca. Thanks for stopping on by. What are we here for? A bit of an oversight and a nostalgic look at what I've got over here. And over here is a ASRock 970 Extreme 4 motherboard, which is an AM3 Plus motherboard that is housing, of all things, an FX Black 8350 CPU. So, long story short, if we come over here, I've been essentially tasked with the task of bringing this motherboard back to life with this CPU that has been attached into it. It's just been reseated, y'all. Reseated. And there it is there. Okay, it's a beautiful motherboard from yesteryear. And this CPU is still got some punch. Actually, like I said, thanks for joining us at the Technus Corner. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more of this sort of PC tech related content from myself, Sir Luke Gar. Yeah, why don't we just get stuck right on in to a bit more of the nitty gritty in relation to this past nostalgic hardware trip. Let's go. Alrighty, so there it is there. She has to go in that NZXT H440 case from yesteryear as well. The ASRock 970 Extreme Motherboard and FX8350 CPU. So welcome to today's video where we'll be looking at the ASRock 970 Extreme 4 Motherboard and the FX8350 AMD CPU. We'll be discussing their pros and cons and how they stack up against competitors in today's market. So the ASRock 970 Extreme 4 is a mid-range motherboard that was released in 2012. It's compatible with AMD processors and supports up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory. The FX8350 is an eight core CPU that was also released in 2012 and it's based on the pile driver architecture. It has a base clock speed at 4.0 gigahertz and a boost clock speed of 4.2 gigahertz. The ASRock 970 Extreme 4 has a lot of great features for its price range. It has eight SATA, three ports, two PCIe 2.0 times 16 slots, and two PCIe 2.0 times one slots. It also has a decent VRM setup, which allows for stable overclocking of the FX8350 CPU. Speaking of the FX8350, it's still a decent CPU for its age. It has eight cores, which can still provide good performance in multi-threaded tasks like the video editing and 3D rendering. Cons on one of the main drawbacks of the ASRock 970 Extreme 4 is its lack of support for newer technologies, like the NVMe SSDs and DDR4, let alone DDR5 memory. This means that if you want to upgrade to faster storage or memory in the future, you'll need to replace the motherboard. The FX8350 is also starting to show its age in single threaded tasks like gaming. While it can still handle modern games, it might struggle with more CPU intensive titles. In today's market, the ASRock 970 Extreme 4 and FX8350 face tough competition from newer hardware. Motherboards with support for NVMe SSDs and DDR4 memory can offer faster performance and better upgrade paths. CPUs like Ryzen 5 3600 and Intel Core i5-11400F offer better single-threaded performance and more efficient power consumption. So in conclusion, overall the ASRock 970 Extreme 4 and FX8350 were great hardware options for their time. They offer good performance and features for their price range. However, they are starting to show their age and are facing tough competition from newer hardware. If you're on a tight budget and looking for a mid-range build, then they can still be a good option. But if you have more money to spend, 
it might be worth looking at newer hardware for better performance and future proofing. So my name's Seb Luca Yol. Thanks all of you for joining us at the Technus Corner. And yeah, with that being said, peace out. Bye.